All right, so you want to see if your computer with Intel's integrated graphics is going to be able to run Liftoff RC Simulator. Let's check it out. So we're just going to select a map here. I like the green. It's a good map, nice area. It doesn't load a whole lot in, but it's got enough to keep you occupied, you know. Um, it's one of, my, one of my favorites. Some of them, not all these maps play the same way, just FYI. They seem to have like kind of different gravity settings, so be aware as you swap around maps. So now we're just going to take a look at some of the settings I'm using here. I turned off all the things I don't need. Camera noise, all that, battery simulation. I left a couple little things on here and there, but if you're struggling with performance, just turn more stuff off. I limited my frame rate a little bit, you'll see there. I'm, I've got my quality setting to simple. Um, I left a couple other settings on. You can see that there. So now we're just going to take a little flight and kind of get started. Oh, no, we're going to take a look at the PIDs. This is another thing, especially if you're new to flying. This is something that helped me a lot. Work on your throttle curve, kind of right about where it wants to hover. Set that as your midpoint and then give yourself a little bit of expo around that midpoint. So now we're just going to kind of take off and fly a little bit here kind of show you how it's performing and again these graphics are on simple it is performing pretty well if I don't say so myself it's not the greatest in the world again you're running on integrated graphics this is Intel 4000 I'm using an i7 3770 um, this is a third gen processor this thing came out in 2011 2012 somewhere um, this is almost 2021 is almost when I'm making this video. It's November of 2020. So to give you an idea of the performance of what you're kind of getting for an older, older thing there. But all in all, I think it performs pretty good. So if you were skeptical or wondering if you should try to download it, if you've got an older computer, go for it. Just turn off some of them settings you don't need and you'll be A-OK. -okay. Look at that nice little waterfall there. All right. Thank you much for watching. If you learned anything, please go ahead and throw a subscribe on there. And please check out some of my other stuff. RC planes, quadcopters, 3D prints, and computer upgrades. Thanks again. We'll see you in the next video.